Hi everybody, it's Mark C. Winters and today I'm talking to you visionaries. Here's the situation. You've decided you want an integrator and you've looked around your organization and you've discovered that you actually have some internal candidates, more than one, and you're being reluctant to choose who the best person is to be your integrator. Maybe you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, maybe it's difficult to decide, maybe you have some kind of, uh, you know, past or personal relationship, but you're being reluctant. And so courage is going to be key to make a decision and get past this. We can take a lesson from Jack Welch at GE. When he was making a decision about filling an important position, he would make all the candidates known and then he would proceed to interview each candidate with respect to that position. So we've just got to have a process. A couple of key points here. I want you to be open and honest throughout this selection process. We want to uh, prevent the kind of speculation that can occur internally when you're doing this kind of stuff and people don't really know what's going on so they start to make up all kinds of wild things that are way more interesting than what's really happening. Uh, you, you, you can ask the leadership team for their perspective. Ask them who they think would make the best integrator for you. A lot of times you can get some really valuable insights from them that will help you make your decision. You're looking for that fit. It's a two-piece puzzle, so you're really trying to understand who's going to be the best fit with you. And then the other thing you're looking for is you're looking for a people analyzer fit. Use that people analyzer tool to understand how they fit with the values that you have in your organization and understand how they fit with the integrator seat. Do they get it, want it, have the capacity to perform it at the level that you need from your integrator? It's going to be important for you to maintain objectivity. Don't make a mistake because you let emotion or ego enter into the picture and drive your decision. Maintain your objectivity. And then finally, recognize that you do run the risk that whoever is not chosen to be your integrator, they might leave. You run the risk of losing them. So it is important that you have some kind of a contingency in place for that and that you just recognize that and go, go in eyes wide open. All right? So three key points to wrap this one up. Be open and honest throughout the process. Number two, ask for input from the leadership team. Gather those valuable nuggets and, and let them weigh into your decision. And number three, maintain your objectivity throughout the process. Don't let ego or emotion lead you into making a mistake. Thanks for watching today. At Rocket Fuel Ventures, we're all about creating the most powerful visionary integrator duos on the planet. And we do that by helping you crystallize what it means to be a visionary and an integrator so you can understand if that concept can help you. And if you decide it can, to get connected with your complementary counterpart. And then finally, maximize that relationship to make it everything it can be to help you take your company to the next level. So if you want more Rocket Fuel, please check out our website at rocketfuelnow.com. And that's where you can sign up for the weekly videos like this. Be sure you're, you're getting these on a regular basis. You can also take the assessment so you can understand as a visionary or as an integrator where your strengths lie and what the shape is of your two-piece puzzles that can help you find that complementary counterpart. And finally, of course, read the book Rocket Fuel and uh, keep those great reviews coming. So until next time, go Rocket!